It is another insane day in Magic the Gathering. Watsy is back to dumping on Amazon just as I predicted every time I've talked about it. Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. I hope the day finds you well. We are gathered here to discuss Watsy dumping again. The flash dumps. They are back as of today. Ravnica remastered draft boxes for $120 each. Original wholesale price was $151. Could you see my nose hairs when I did that? $151 and they're dumping for $120. Now this is the flash dump era that I talked about six weeks ago. They will only dump for an hour or two at a time on Amazon. You've got to open a tab. You've got to refresh it regularly or you have to be absolutely dialed in to whoever the social media providers are that you subscribe to. If you want to catch these dumps, you have to be persistent. You have to have the initiative and you have to go get it. It takes a while. You might miss it. And if it's a coupon dump on Amazon, then you won't even always see it. Not everybody gets the same coupon offers on Amazon all the time. But this is not even a problem with Cynthia Williams. It's not even a problem with Watsi. It's not a problem with Chris Cox or Hasbro. It goes all the way higher than that. It is a problem with corporate America, with this insane idea that publicly traded companies can grow revenue and grow profit and grow profit margins every quarter quarter after quarter consistently forever and that they can do it at a faster rate than the population is growing there's this insane idea and it trickles all the way down through hasbro through chris cox through cynthia williams through watsi and the idea manifests as this insane notion that magic can grow 10 20 30 40 50 percent per year when populations just are not growing that fast. What do they expect? That one day the entire population of Earth will do nothing but play magic all the time. Every moment that they're not literally trying to grow food to sustain the population and not trying to have sex to make more babies to increase the population, they'll otherwise be playing Magic the Gathering. It can't work that way. You can't grow margins consistently forever eventually you hit the peak margin that the market will bear you can't get over a hundred percent margin for something you can't keep growing it forever forever and ever and ever it's unbelievable but it's this insane idea that they can and that's why we've got the amazon dumps that's why they will never stop that's why they're going to keep going no matter what you hear no matter who tells you they're gonna quit no they can't stop dumping they can't because the next poor idiot that they choose to replace cynthia williams he's gonna come in there and he's gonna say well look Cynthia did this much revenue and this much profit and this profit margin. And if I don't beat that, well, she got fired out on her ass performing like that. I've got to do better. They can't stop dumping. They can't because the margins are too high. Do you realize when they, Watsy, buy the cards from Cardamundi and from Millennium Print Group and whoever all the other printers are, they buy the cards dirt cheap because they're paper and ink and foil and other crap like that. They buy the cards and then they turn around and they sell them to distribution that sells them to retail, that sells them to the customer. When you cut out half of that chain and you have Watsy selling direct to the customer via Amazon, do you realize how much the profit margins are? It's unbelievable how high of a margin they can get. And so they can't replace that because that starts to average in to their overall profit margin for Watsi, for Magic, for tabletop gaming, all the different ways that they account for it every quarter on their reports. They can't stop doing it, guys. Don't believe it. Anytime you hear someone telling you the dumps have stopped, no, they haven't and they won't. So what's it look like? What they're doing today is Ravnica Remaster Draft Boxes have been about $179 pretty consistently for a couple of weeks. I'm the crackhead who goes and checks a couple times a day on Amazon looking for dumps. I expected them to have started a couple of weeks ago, closer to the beginning of the financial quarter, but they, I did at least didn't see them start until today. 
$179 normally. I picked up several boxes. It was $120.50. I told my patrons as fast as I could, and then I waited a few minutes, and I posted it up on the community tab on YouTube. Some of my patrons got in on it at least. Now, what happened a little while later, maybe 20, 30 minutes after that, the price was back up to 170. Then a little while up after that, back to 179, then 170, now 179 again. Sometime in the next few hours, the next few days, the next week or two, it's going to come back down to 120. It might go below that, but this is the flash dump era. It is no longer slashing collector box prices to 80 bucks and leaving it there until the quantity is exhausted. It is flashing the price up and down so that it doesn't gain huge traction on social media, so that not too many boxes are sold in a row, so that there's plausible deniability. Look for the shipped and sold by Amazon on Amazon.com. That's Watsy dumping it directly through Amazon. The boxes are dirt cheap, and it's all just a matter of how often are they going to do it? Can you catch it? Can you refresh the tab in time to pick it up? And what products are next? Because, guys, they cannot stop dumping the margins. It's the margins. It's the overall revenue, everything. They just can't stop. They will continue to hammer card stores with the Amazon dumps. They just don't look like they used to. It is the flash dump era. Get used to it. Thanks to everyone who makes this content possible, especially my very generous supporters on Patreon. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join me on Final Trade.